This School of Hard Knocks fight is a professional bout in the 170 pound weight class and is brought to you by the Blackfoot Inn, the official hotel for Hard Knocks fighting in Calgary. And now, let's meet the fighters. He's fighting out of Nanaimo and Calgary. Please welcome Andrew Buckland. So Andrew Buckland makes his way in for a title fight with a professional record of 13, eight and one, coming in on a two fight win streak. He said he wins with chokes and that's how he intends to finish this fight tonight. Yeah, you know, Andrew Buckland's a, a, a friend of mine. He's a guy I've cornered before. He's fought high caliber guys. We talked about that. UFC veteran David Loazzo, UFC veteran Ryan McGilvery. Uh, he is a tough guy. He's a bit of a wild card in that you never know which Andrew Buckland is coming to the cage. He's beat some great guys. He's dropped some, uh, some losses I think he was disappointed with. Uh, but he, you know, when the right Andrew Buckland is here, there's almost no one this guy cannot beat. And I think the look I see on Andrew Buckland's face today, the right Andrew Buckland here, he is here to take on Cato Allen and bring home the first title of his Fighting experience career. out of Calgary, this is Cato Allen! Cato Allen is probably one of the most powerful middleweights you're gonna see outside of the Zufa circuit of, of uh, of MMA, he is a very well-built man, and you will see that when the shirt comes off. He's a very strong wrestler. He's a bad man to be underneath when those punches start coming, and he's very good at putting people on his on their backs. Uh, that being said, his striking is not as polished as Buckland, uh, and he has been known to get caught in submissions when he is too eager to get that takedown. And you saw that just a few months ago when now Strike Force veteran Jordan Meehan uh, choked out uh, Kato Allen at a, at a Rumble in the Cage event before moving on to Strike Force. Uh, so both of these fighters have fought guys of world class caliber and unfortunately have been unable to come out uh, on top. Uh, sharing a common opponent, Andrew Buckland, also uh, lost a fight to Jordan Meehan uh, about uh, a little bit more than a year ago. So entering the cage now is the very, very powerful Kato Allen. And now for the official fighter introductions. In the Blind Monk Urban Pub Blue Corner, he's 30 years old, stands 5 feet 11 inches tall. He weighed in at 169 and one half pounds, fighting out of Gracie Baja in Calgary. Please welcome Hard Knocks fighter, Andrew Buckland. Andrew Buckland obviously not afraid and of needles. Out of the two amigos and company red corner, at 31 years old, he stands five feet, nine inches tall, and weighed in at 171 pounds. Fighting out of Knuckles MMA in Calgary, please welcome Hard Knocks fighter, Keto, the Jamaican assassin, Allen! And despite both fighters originally hailing from Calgary, this belt crowd will support be contested under clearly professional rules. The referee in charge of the Hard Knocks action is John Brack. All right, gentlemen, it's a championship bout. You both know the rules. I expect you to fight clean, fight fair, fight hard. Obey my commands, protect yourselves at all times. If you're gonna touch gloves, do it now. Good luck. And no touch of gloves uh, in the arena, in the ring for this fight. Both these men eager to claim their first title here in their hometown. Keto Allen coming in a little bit shorter, a little bit less of a reach than his opponent, Andrew Buckland. And both these guys may take a, a 
a couple seconds to feel each other out here at the beginning of the first round. Andrew Buckland lands a nice heavy leg kick there. Oh, big hook from uh, Kiddo Allen. Oh, Buckland starting to take over with punches of his own. Maybe getting a little over uh, enthusiastic and coming into the wrestling game of the more powerful, uh, more technical wrestler in Kato Allen. Both fighters landing a couple punches in the dirty box up against the cage. You know, it's not to say that Andrew Buckland is not capable of taking down Kato Allen. The difference is that the better wrestler is usually going to conserve a lot more energy in these clinch situations. It gets very tiring to struggle instead of wrestle in these positions. And now you see Kato Allen hoping to throw Andrew Buckland and then moving to a trip and picking his ankle in a great series of maneuvers. Nice takedown there scored by Kato Allen as he passes one half of Andrew Buckland's guard. And Buckland, I think, is going to play a strategy to, to stand up. I don't think he wants to, to work for submissions here. But we'll see what uh, Josh Russell has advised him to do and uh, what the Gracie Baja black belt has planned from the bottom. Kato Allen's plan is obviously to ground and pound for the win. And so far doing just that with a little bit of an elbow in there. And now moves into side control, dropping a couple more elbows. Now throwing punches to the head of his opponent is Keto Allen. Keto Allen with an elbow or two. Buckland still on the bottom, an elbow that may have hit the neck there of Buckland. And uh, Keto Allen measuring those elbows, now throwing knees to the midsection. Again, very effective here from side control thus far has been Keto Allen. Yeah, you know, no major damage as yet, but with a guy built like Kato Allen on top of you, it's just a matter of time until something heavy comes down. Uh, Kato Allen has uh, been, uh, you know, he has shown some impressive ground and pound, but he's also shown the wrestler's propensity to, quote, lay and pray once he has a control position and not take the risks uh, some other fighters would to get the finish. Uh, a, a criticism we've heard of some other fighters who rely on their wrestling, like George St. Pierre. Buckland doing a great job of moving out of the crucifix position he was caught in momentarily. But again, burning a lot of energy trying to re-guard here. Uh, despite the fact that Keto's not doing a lot of damage, it can get tiring to be there. And then again, stuck in the crucifix, but Buckland rolls out. And chanting Keto, Keto, Keto is the crowd. Clearly a favorite here, despite Andrew Buckland saying he has more fights in Calgary than Keto has in his career. Uh, the crowd clearly in favor of Keto Allen as he continues to have that dominant side control position on Andrew Buckland, lay landing punches and elbows, like you said, not doing a lot of damage, but damage nonetheless. And when you're in a five round fight, that damage is gonna add up, especially it's gonna add up on the judges' scorecards when they're looking at- And uh, Buckland's gonna get a chance to buck round. out here. And if he drops that other hook in there, he's got a chance. There you go. Now Buckland up on top. He's got to sprawl to get his hips down or Kato is going to pop back up. And again, here's Buckland reaching over with both hands. He's got to get one hand on that head. There we go. At the very least, threaten the guillotine. Kato oh. with the takedown and back into a half guard position. Again, showing that wrestling background, showing that dominant ground game that we've seen from Kato Allen in the past. Continues to try and work. Looks like he's trying that crucifix over and over again. Now he's posturing up and throwing a couple punches. Buckland tries to explode out, but back right on top of him is Keto Allen. And so Buckland doing a good job of moving onto the single leg from that position, trying to pull himself up in the double. Uh, it's a much easier thing to secure when you're a little stretched out. Uh, and now working a good position on the cage. He's got to backstep his right leg out and, and dump that dump Keto's butt on the ground. But Keto's got good balance and a deep whizzer in there, so uh, Buckland's gonna have to make a decision about whether or not he wants to stay here and burn energy. Also continuing to lay on top of Buckland, forcing him to carry his weight as well as his own, and that can only serve to tire Buckland as the fight goes on. Just 10 seconds remaining in the first round of this first title fight in the history of the Hard Knocks Fighting Championship. And the first uh, title fight round is gonna go to Kato Allen, but 
look at Andrew Buckland. He doesn't look phased at all. He had a bad round. He got in some bad positions, spent most of it on defense. This is old hat for Andrew Buckland. He's been in tough fights. Uh, he's a he's a longtime veteran of a lot of organizations. Happy to have him here at Hard Knocks in his hometown. Uh, and Cato Allen, uh, you know, also very fit, choosing not to take the stool in between rounds. But he is breathing fairly heavily. He expended a lot of energy trying to put that ground and pound on Andrew Buckland and hold down Buckland, who uh, made a lot of legitimate uh, attempts to re-guard, which eventually became much more successful near the end of the round. That may show that uh, Cato getting a little tired, having trouble holding those side mount positions. And you know, sometimes when all you do is try to hold your opponent down, you give them a chance to try and regard, and you burn a lot of energy trying to hold the fight still. It's uh, counterintuitive, but it's a lot easier uh, to be the fighter who pushes the pace than the fighter trying to hold the pace down. Set now for round two. Buckland in the blue trunks, Allen in the black. Edo Allen with an impressive first round, likely ends up with the, the win on the judges' scorecards and a nice throw there to land again in a half guard. And Keto Allen back in a dominant position here as he faces second round action with Andrew Buckland. You know, if Andrew Buckland wants to win this fight, and he does, he needs to stay out of those clinch scenarios. Use his range, he has the advantage there, and he is the better striker. Uh, Kato Allen shows no interest in wanting to strike with Buckland up on his feet as he keeps putting this fight in the ground. So uh, Buckland's got to be focused once he gets his fight back to his feet, whether it's a new round or he gets himself up there. Stay there and win the striking game here. And again, Kato Allen working that dominant position, although not landing a lot of damage. Buckland doing a good job of holding Kato Allen close so that he cannot land strikes and uh, doing a good job of controlling that shoulder so that Allen doesn't have an opportunity to, to posture up and throw punches and elbows. Yeah, you know, Buckland doesn't appear to be struggling too much on the ground. It is tiring to be down there, but he's doing a jo good job of getting his hooks under and, and working himself back uh, to a neutral position, or at least a safe position, where he's not in threat of a lot of strikes. And again, Allen dropping short There's punches. a great roll. And I'll tell you, I've been in the gym with Andrew Buckland. And if you get north-south on top of Andrew Buckland, he will roll you every time. People at Crazy Baja call that the Buckland roll. And so far, the Buckland roll working out for him, throwing a couple punches to Keto Allen's midsection. You know, and Buckland is a dangerous uh, jiu-jitsu fighter from the top. He's got a lot of wins by choke. Oh, but Kato Allen showing his dynamic, and as soon as Buckland let go of that hold, spinning back and showing he is not willing uh, to let Andrew Buckland hold him down in this fight. Has an arm in choke position that does Andrew Buckland. Kato Allen trying to defend from underneath, grabbing onto the leg, not He's letting a lot of it go, but and manages to pop out, and now again back on top of Andrew Buckland and looking to pass. You know, Andrew Buckland told me before this fight he thinks he's going to win it by submission. And I think he's looking for those transition moments we talked about. He saw a chance of that arm in guilty. And Andrew Buckland's a great fighter because he's always going to take a risk to try and win that fight. And, you know, right now uh, it's ending up on him being on the bottom a little more often than he'd like. Uh, but he is, uh, he is comfortable there and he's shown his ability to get out and threaten a submission. Spun around there but didn't manage to get out of the hold. Now he's got Allen held down a little bit more north-south and, and trying to flip him again is Andrew Buckland. But Keto Allen remaining on top at this point and holding Buckland down and as they get a little closer to north-south. And there's the Buckland roll, like we said. Rolls him over again and we'll see if Andrew Buckland can do anything from this position. The last time he had it, it wound up with him back on his back as Keto Allen shuffed out. And uh, Allen trying to get out there, but unsuccessful as Andrew Buckland continues to hold the, the dominant position for the moment. Keto Allen switching back to a north-south and uh, unable to uh, move anywhere further from there. Don't be surprised if you see Andrew Buckland slide back for a north-south choke. Like I said, he is a guy who will take risks to win this fight. Now he's moved to a, 
to a more standard side mount, even though Keto has uh, that underhook on the short side inside. Uh, Buckland is now uh, putting pressure on from side mount. And he's got a fairly secure position, but he has to get uh, underneath his, uh, his left leg. He's got to get underneath that underhook if he wants to secure that side mount. Championship fight here at the School of Hard Knocks 14. Five five-minute rounds if they're necessary. We're in and round And there you two. go. He's got that arm crucifixed out. And uh, Buckland missed a chance to go to work there, but at least he gets that underhook out, and now he's got a secure side mount position. Driving a big knee into the side of Keto Allen, who tried to escape but was unable to. A little bit more success there, although leaving himself somewhat open for a choke at the moment. But Buckland uh, deciding to roll Buckland back. And there's Buckland looking for that Armin guillotine. guillotine. He's got it. He's got that choke. An Armin guillotine, and it doesn't. Look He's going to roll him over. Ten just seconds. Ten seconds remaining in the round. And he's he tapped, tapped out. out. Andrew Buckland is your Hard Knocks Fighting Champion. And a great submission victory. Andrew Buckland told me he would win this fight by submission and said the odds were on guillotine. And that's a very technical arm and guillotine executed in transition on his While game plan. The official decision. Hooters is supplying the Keto Allen a little wobbly as he gets to his feet. With $200 gift certificates, which will be presented at our official Hard Knocks after party. Well, a championship night for Andrew Buckland as he becomes the first ever title holder. And you could see as he rolled him over there, Keto Allen with a very small tap to end that fight. And uh, you could see commission members there making sure John Brack saw that as uh, very alert commission members on the side of the cage. And Andrew Buckland becomes we the winner the official decision of the first ever Black championship Foot fight here. Uh, in the official hotel for Hard Knocks Fighting in Calgary. The winner by referee stoppage due to guillotine choke at four minutes and 55 seconds in the second round. In the blue corner, your welterweight champion, Andrew Buckland. Huge advances in belt technology lately with the additions of the Velcro belt, eliminating the cumbersome and often awkward belt attachment ceremony. Andrew, I have to ask, how does it feel to be a champion? Feels great. Uh, I'm stuck to my game plan. We wanted to wear him out. He's a big, strong guy, and uh, we knew if the longer it went, the better it would be for me. We took a little bit of punishment, but uh, you know I could feel him fading even at the end of the first round, so uh, we stuck to our game plan and it worked out well. You didn't change any of your training at all for this opponent, is that correct? No, we train the same way. I've trained the same way everyone fights throughout my career. Um, you know, wrestling, jiu-jitsu, lots of cardio, and uh, you know, worked out well tonight. And who do we have to thank for helping this championship become a reality? I want to thank Impact out of Nanaimo, BC. That's where I'm training now. The guys are great out there, you know. Nick Hinchcliffe's a strong dude. He beats the shit on me every week. Um, crazy. Uh, all my sponsors, Champion, uh, Art House, 360 Building, anyone who's ever helped me. Uh, you know, I appreciate it, and it, uh, yeah, thank you very much. Let's hear it for our welterweight champion, Andrew Buckland! Well, Andrew Buckland, victorious, carries off the first belt in Hard Knocks I'd like to thank history. our title sponsor, Toll Law Office, and the Century Casino, the home of Hard Knocks fighting in Calgary. Don't miss the official Hard Knocks part after party. Everyone's invited to the official after party at the Blind Monk Urban Pub, located on 12th Avenue and 9th Street Southwest. Here's your opportunity to party with the fighters after the show and hear their take on the bouts. 
Also, come join us to see Hooters winners of the best pro performance at the evening, which will be presented at the Blind Monk. Thank you for being a part of Hard Knocks. Be sure to mark November 25th on your calendar for the next school of Hard Knocks fighting event, Hard Knocks 15 at Calgary Zone Century Casino. Now, let's party Hard Knocks style! Well, I couldn't happen to a nicer guy, Andrew Buckland, uh, a sportsman and a gentleman. Happy to see him win, personal friend of mine. Uh, good to see a guy who's a veteran of the sport, who's put in the work. Uh, get some credit, win a championship in his hometown, and, and start a new period of career where now he's going to have to defend that belt uh, here at Hard Knocks uh, as, they, uh, as they start rolling out and lining up contenders. Uh, so I'm, uh, I'm ecstatic to see Hard Knocks at the level it's at. Uh, a great champion to represent the organization and uh, a great night of fights, uh, well matched. And, uh, you know, Andrew Buckland looking at maybe a submission of the night award and maybe a little backroom bonus for a great uh, performance, but he'll have a tough time beating out Elias Theodoro for performance of the night, I think. Well, I do believe they give out two Pro of the Night Fight Awards, and you may just see those two pros take them home, uh, both Andrew Buckland for his title victory over Keto Allen and Elias Theodoro in a very dominant performance, and I can imagine when they bring out that 185 title, Elias Theodoro has got to be right there in that title picture. Absolutely, and let's just take a second. Kato Allen, great performance, very tough guy. Controlled the first round and a half of that fight, but Andrew Buckland starts breaking out that Buckland roll from the bottom. He gets you back on his back, and like you said, he's a dangerous guy on top with submissions. He had a game plan to look for tropes in transition, and that's what a veteran fighter does. He sticks to that game plan. He didn't get worried after a round on his back, and he executed on a very competent, very strong, very game, very tough uh, Keto Allen. And I hope to see Keto Allen back and put a couple wins together. Maybe he gets a chance to take on Andrew Buckland again to try and get the belt that he wanted to win the inaugural time. So that's all from us here at the School of Hard Knocks 14, brought to you by the Hard Knocks Fighting Championship for Beamer Comfort. I'm Ryan Valentine. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you just two weeks from now coming to you live from Regina, Saskatchewan with Hard Knocks 15.